So this is one of those stories where you look at it and you're like, God damn it, I wish we had a functioning media that could hammer away on this. Because this is absolutely unconscionable. Let me walk you through it here. And by the way, credit to The Lever, David Schroeder's outlet, because they're the original folks who reported this fact, and this is going to make your blood boil. So sit down and buckle up for it. Ted Cruz wants airlines to keep your cash when they cancel your flight. Cruz and three other congressional lawmakers offered legislation that could undermine the Biden administration's new airline refund rule. So just to give you guys the backstory on that, Pete Buttigieg came out the other day, transportation secretary, and he said the Biden administration has made a decision to do automatic full refunds if an airline cancels your flight. Now, um, that hasn't been the case to this point because the airlines are fucking pirates. And so this was, eh, let's end this nonsense, full refund, automatic End of story, right? It genuinely a good rule. Genuinely a good rule. And we've had a number of good rules recently coming out of the FTC and coming out of, you know, various government agencies that are supposed to be watchdogs for you. Um, they extended the overtime rule. More people will get overtime now as a direct result. So there's been some good things happening. But of course, this is, this is America. You can't just have like, hey, a good thing. It's always like, but, but. We have to tweak it. We have to change it. We have to make it worse. After the Biden administration issued a final rule last week that would request that would require airlines to automatically issue refunds to passengers whose flights are delayed or canceled, four, four lawmakers bankrolled by the airline industry introduced must-pass legislation that could undermine the effort. As the lever reported, the lawmakers, Ted Cruz, Maria Cantwell, uh, Sam Graves, and Rick Larson, perfectly bipartisan, by the way, introduced a new Federal Aviation Administration reauthorization deal that would require passengers to send a written or electronic request in order to receive a full refund for a canceled or significantly delayed flight. The publication notes that under this provision, airlines would, not, would only have to pay refunds to the subset of passengers who have the disposable time and patience to go through a notoriously arduous refund process. The FAA's current authorization expires May 10th. The legislation comes after Cruz attempted to pass a measure that would give lawmakers their own security escorts at airports. Despite hailing from a bright red state, Cruz is once again facing a surprisingly competitive re-election, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're not going to be surprised to, to learn that these uh, politicians who are trying to change this rule and make it worse, they are the top recipients of airline cash. And the whole reason you would make it you would change the law so it's not an automatic refund. You have to go through a process step by step and do a call or make an electronic request and s jump through a bunch of hoops. The only reason to do that is because they want to help the airlines and, and make the airlines keep your money. That's the only reason. And I'm sure if somebody were to crunch the numbers on it, they'd find out that under that system, what, only 30% or 40% of people might actually get their, their refund and 60% of people, 50%, whatever it is, wouldn't get it. So this is literally just, hey, average Americans, go fuck yourself. Average Americans, we're, we're against you. I'm on the side of the airlines. They pay me. They give me money. They give me campaign contributions. I get in power. I serve them. I super serve my donors because I'm a corrupt little bitch boy. That's what this is. Now, again, I'll ask you, why the fuck isn't this everywhere, right? I mean, it's just like when sometimes you get hit with a story that's just like, the perfect embodiment of our politics. This is one right here. For once, the government actually does some good shit, automatic refunds, if, if your airline's fucking with you, and then the airline-funded politicians step in and go, no, we must water this down, we must make it worse, we must make it so that the airlines can steal your money. This is insane, man. This is insane. And then they always have the out. You guys know how this works, right? They always have the out of like, well, I'm not against you getting a refund. I'm just saying you should have to submit a request to get a refund. That's all I'm saying is you have to be personally responsible and jump through the hoops. Again, the only reason to put the hoops there in the first place is to say fuck you to average Americans and to serve the airline industry. This is the problem with our politics. Total and utter corruption. And by the way, again, this is just one example. You know how many of these polit how many politicians are funded by Wall Street, by big banks, by the insurance companies, by the Israel lobby, by the Saudi lobby. I mean, we can go on and on here, right? The NRA on the Republican side, big oil. Like, this is literally the core of the problem of our politics, is that these people are all bought and paid for. If we lived in a system where that was illegal, so there wasn't this corporate money 
funding or billionaire money uh, funding these politicians. They were all just funded by us, the public. Well, in that instance, you actually would have people trying to represent the people because they're your boss. But no, he views the airline industry and the lobbyists as his boss, and that's why he does this. And there's nowhere to fucking hide here, man. Like I said, the best thing they got is, Whoa, I'm not against you getting the money. You just have to jump through 14 unnecessary hoops to get the money. That's the best you got. You're going to lose that debate 10 out of 10 times. So everybody should be looking at this. Corrupt corporate puppet. That's what he is. And then will they succeed? Well, this is what they do, guys. This is how, this is how the sausage is made. What they do is they slip this into a must-pass bill. And then, hey, it's the must-pass bill. We got to get this through. What are we going to do? And then they pass it, and then, oh, would you look at that? Things just got worse. This story should be everywhere. It should be everywhere. It's just such a great example of how stuff really works. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.